Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the end of the regular season. Some crazy weeks, 14, 13, whatever you want to call this, finishes. I mean, really crazy. Okay. First, let's get over these uh, other two uh, things I go over real quick. Playoffs start next week, by the way. Can't wait. Can't believe it. Um, Pickums has Show Me Mo TDs with a two-point lead, three weeks left. You got Mean Machine and Old Influence, two points behind, and myself, three points behind. So, Tom, watch out. Um, then the th King of the Mountain is still Grass Kickers at 184.5 or something like that. Uh, three weeks left. We'll see if he can hold on. Good luck, Ryan. How about, are you going to Texas? How about them Tigers going to the Texas Bowl? Now, obviously, it's a home game for the Longhorns. But I might... I think I might bet for the Tigers on this one. They're, I think they have a really good chance of winning. They're on fire. Their quarterback is playing amazing. I mean, I I don't know. I just think that I think Missouri could win that game. I hope I didn't jinx them, but I really think Missouri can beat Texas. So there you go, Ryan, and whoever else is a Tiger fan. I don't know. It's not me. I'm just saying I think Tigers can win. I'm not really a college football fan. Um. So anyway, uh, let's get on with this show, shall we? Like I said, it was a very crazy week of fantasy football to determine playoff spots. First off, Mean Machines ended up winning and took over the division. Grass Kickers, it was in your hands. All you had to do was win. I mean, actually, it was all three of you guys. Whoever won really was going to, well, no. Yeah, grass kickers, all you had to do is win. You win the division. Instead, uh, I don't know if you made the playoffs, actually. Thanks to Mean Machine winning, he ended up winning the division because he had more points. And then Dragon Balls, I'm not 100% sure. Let me see. I think did Dragon Balls kick 840. Oh, no, Running Freeman still makes the playoffs, I think. Oh, wait, hold on, one, two. Hold on, a team with no name has 19. One, two, three, four, five. Running Freeman sneaks in the playoffs. So, Dragon Balls beats, Dragon Balls beats Running Freeman barely. To seal his number one seed, and Running Freeman barely makes the playoffs. Fugitives gets knocked out of the playoffs by like eight points, I think, or no, maybe more than that. No, it's more than that because Grass Kickers, you losing sends you. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? You, if you would have won, you would have been the number two seed, Brian. If you would have won your game, you would have been the number two seed. But because you lost, you are now, I think, the number one or two seed in the toilet bowl. Yeah, I don't, I'm pretty sure you didn't make the playoffs because the number one seed is Dragon Balls. I don't know how I did it. I somehow win and not just win, I end up winning my division. That I'm really shocked with. I mean, seriously, I'm not, I don't know if I'm happy or mad because I don't think I'm going to go far. I mean, I don't even have 1,800 points. There's like, how many teams are going to the playoffs or not going to the playoffs? Show me TDs, Grass Kickers, Ark and Fugitives, all are not going to the playoffs and they have 1,800 points or more. And I don't have 1,800 points and I win my division. With eight wins. How? So, hey, I'll take it. I've had a year like this before. In this league, of all leagues, it's always this league where somehow I pull things out. I don't know. Hopefully it does again. I'll go to the championship game, and I'll – and I think I lost, but I'll, I'll still – hopefully I can go. If I can go, I'll be happy. That's all I care. <laughs> That's awesome. So, somehow I am the number – Two seed? I'm the number two seed? Get out! I get a buy? Ha! Awesome! 
I did. I just realized I'm the number two seed. I thought I was a three seed, but Mean Machine only has seven wins. With Mean Machine has two, almost basically two thousand points, and he's a number three seed. I'm a number two seed with not even eighteen hundred points. Unbelievable! <laughs> I'm like that really shocked me. I didn't even know. I thought I was a three seed for some reason. Okay, so, Craig, you're the number one seed. Somehow I'm the number two seed, which obviously everyone wants to play against me. <laughs> They're like, oh, that's the easiest number two seed I've ever seen. Um, mean Machine is number three seed. Now, who the heck's the number four seed? You got a team who has no name. Nope. Old Influence is the number four seed with eight wins. And then a team who has no name is the number five seed. Is he the number five seed in both leagues? I think so. And then the number six seed is running free man. 18, wait, let's see, 1895. Yep. Running free man is the number six seed. Wow. That is crazy. So let me look at this live score and what happened yesterday. So like I said, Dragon Balls, somehow with the help of Mike Davis, great pickup, by the way, Craig, Mike Davis. I was looking at him. That was beautiful move you made, I must say. Beautiful move. Uh, get you the points to win. I mean, that... That gives you a, a tough decision, though, for the playoffs. Luckily, you get a buy, but I mean, now you got Todd Gurley, Mike Davis, Carlos Hyde. Oh, that doesn't give you a hard decision because Ezekiel's still out. <laughs> you got those three guys, plus Keenan Allen and Jamison Crowder or Devin Funches. Jason, man, Craig, your team just got hugely better because I think Mike Davis is going to be their ball carrier until he gets hurt. Can, and then if Aaron Rodgers comes back, what do you do then? Oh, man. Too bad you didn't play Alex Smith. You might have, I think, yeah. Craig, if you would have played Alex Smith, I think you might have. No, you wouldn't have been the king of the mountain. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, Adam, you lost, Craig, but you're still number, what did I say, four seed, five seed, something like that, six seed, whatever you are. I don't know. Um. Fugitives whooped up on Factory of Sadness. Too bad it doesn't mean anything. Old Influence. Like, I don't know what happened, Old Influence. Jared, oh, I'll tell you what happened. In my league, I'm feeling the effects too. Jordan Howard sucks. Jordan Howard doesn't want to play all, every week. He plays once every three weeks. So next week, you'll probably get 20 to 30 points from Jordan Howard. But then don't worry, you'll go back to your single digits. Um, you finally got a great game from Des Bryant, but then you, the other receiver forgot to show up, and you don't have any other receivers to play. Oh, because Demarius sucks. Uh, and you got two tight ends to play. Now you might have lost a tight end. Who knows if Zach Ertz is going to be back next week. But you got whooped by Du Bois. Thank you, Du Bois. Robert. Robert. I'm going to say thank you, Robert. You beat Old Influence, and since Old Influence didn't score a lot of points, somehow I ended up winning the division. Weird! And I got the two seed from it. Robert, Mike, both of you guys for sucking and playing good and winning and losing badly. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, obviously, Robert, I don't know what you had going, but too bad you uh, your team just is... Uh... Oh, shut up, dog. Your team, I've always said your team looks good. You just keep having bad luck, but somehow you finally won again. I, I don't know what to do uh, because, you know, Rex Burkhead all of a sudden is a touchdown machine on the goal line. Do I play Rex Burkhead over Isaiah Crowell? I mean, right? Isn't that what I should do? It's just, he doesn't get yards. Well, I guess he got 78 yards, so I don't know. Maybe I'll have to start playing Rex Burkhead. Um, we'll have to see. And then Marquise Lee. I mean, all of a sudden, my team is slowly starting to wake up. Except I think I might start benching Vernon Davis and playing Kyle Rudolph. Who knows? Uh, but thank you, Tom, for losing so I can win and you go to the toilet bowl and I go to the playoffs. And I'm sorry, but hey, thanks. I appreciate it. I take it all. I take all wins I can get. 
somehow. A team that has no name was so close to being king of the mountain. 183 points. Jameis Winston pulls out 30 points. Welcome back, but you could have had a lot more. You had a fumble loss. Did you have a pick or not? No, nope, no picks, just a lost fumble. Um, LeGarrette Blunt choked for you, though. You could have had that king of the mountain if LeGarrette Blunt would have actually played better. Uh-oh. No Rob Gronkowski. What are you going to do? You got Oh, you got Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram will do just fine for you. No Rob Gronkowski, though, next week. And Grass Kickers lays an egg. All you had to do, Ryan, was win, and you are the number two seed. That's all you had to do is win. And then you would have been the two seed. I mean, Le'Veon Bell can't do it himself. Phillip Rivers actually had a good game. It's your receivers. Mike Evans. I feel you there. I have Mike Evans in a league, and he has been... Super disappointing. I thought Mike Evans was going to be one of the top three receivers in the league this year. I don't think I want him ever again on my team. Ever. He's so disappointing this year. And freaking Mohamed Sanu has, has done way better than him. So, anyway, I don't think you could have done anything really different to your team. I would have played probably that exact lineup. You just lost. Maybe I would have played Jerick McKinnon over... Um, I don't know, Orleans Darkwell, I don't know, because the Raiders usually suck, so I would have left it. No, nope. couldn't have done anything different. You just lost, and you wouldn't have won anyway. 183 points, that's a hard hard to beat. Finally, Mean Machine beats up on Fester <coughs> to take the division. Whoa! It's just crazy how Grass Kickers could have won the division and got the number two seed and instead loses and goes to the toilet bowl, and Mean Machine wins and somehow takes over the division and the number three seed. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. All right. So, like I said, uh, so the toilet oh, I already went over the seedings for the playoffs, and I think I did the toilet bowl. Maybe not. If not, just look on the website. You'll see it. Uh, don't forget, the NFL playoffs are going to be starting soon, so look out for that email invite to go to that league. Uh, you can probably start making your lineups there. I don't know, probably soon, after week 17 maybe or something like that. Chiefs suck. We all know this. They're frustrating. I kind of want them to lose. Just an FYI, if the Chiefs lose to the Raiders or the Chargers, one of the two, I will have some Christmas Eve tickets, a 12 o'clock game against the Dolphins for sale. Uh, it's three front row seats in the end zone. Um it's in the sunny side, so it is warmer on that side. Uh, three front row seats plus a parking pass. Basically, it's face value, 350 bucks. Parking pass, three front row seats. 350 bucks. If not, I'll just go. I don't care. But if the Chargers or Raiders win, I'm really just looking to get rid of them. So you all have a great week. And I will too, I guess. See ya.